a vial of TRT. This is a vial. You want to select your syringe, just that little bit sharper, to actually inject into your body through the skin. So you've been prescribed TRT, and you've been prescribed a vial of TRT. This is a vial, and you might want to know what do you need to be able to do an injection if you've been prescribed a vial of testosterone. And now we're gonna look at the pre-injection bundle, or the injection bundle that you get from Balance My Hormones. So let's open up and see what's inside. So we have individual syringes, quite a few syringes in there. We also have 25 gauge needles, and we have blue needles. And on the other side, we have your Elka wipes. Okay, so we'll take some of those out. Now, why do we have two separate sets of needles. The reason is we want to use one slightly fatter 23 gauge needle to be able to draw out the testosterone from your syringe. And that 23, we don't want to use a fatter gauge needle because that will core out the rubber bung. The rubber bung needs to reseal so that's safe. When we do remove the contents, you want to make sure you use the Elka wipe to wipe the top of your vial very carefully and let it dry. Okay, that should remove any sort of microbes. Then you want to select your syringe and you use your 23 gauge needle, which we're going to use only for drawing out because once you go through that rubber vial or the rubber bung at the top of the vial, it will dull the, uh, the needle and you don't, you could inject with it, but you can also have the benefit of a 25 gauge needle, even thinner to actually inject into your body through the skin. And in order to be just a little bit sharper, some people can inject with this. I think it's better to have an alternative and we give you uh, the option for both. So our recommendation, use the fatter needle, the 23, the blue, to take the liquid out, to take the testosterone out and inject with your 25 gauge needle. But if you did want to inject with this, that, that's okay too, but it may be a bit more dull from going through rubber bung and that's all you need. So hopefully that helps you understand what you need to do the injection when you're using a vial.